talk about what you expect from your Cowboys this year, Jamie. Talk about the history first. Terrell, Texas. That's where I'm from. 28 miles east of Dallas, if you're checking. Some people spell it with an E, I say it with a U. Terrell. Uh, I've been a Cowboy fan for so long, like back in the day, Roger Staubach. Matter of fact, that's my alias when I stay at, uh, at hotels. So the history of this, and where are my boys at? Terrell, Texas, right here. All us, all us all grew up playing football, man. So for us, we eat, we breathe, we sleep, we die Cowboys. So this year, we really excited. We was there when we didn't, when we didn't get it done, uh, when we played against the Niners. But at the same time, it's like having a new coach, uh, COVID and all these other things are sort of like maybe, you know, maybe derailed us in some areas. This year, man, I saw Dak at a restaurant. Slim, look good, his jawline, everything looked good. So we just, you know, we got high hopes this year because I think as I talked to uh, Michael Parsons, he says the, goal, the game has slowed down for him now. You know, when he first, you know, started, he said things were moving fast, he says, but he knows the game now, he says, and he got a different look in his eye because we always say this, who's the dog on the team? Y'all coming into the frame? We always say, who's the dog on the team? And so uh, I think Mike, Michael got his dog, dog license today. Got yeah. a little Willie Beeman in. Man, hey, you always got to have a little Willie Beeman, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got to have a little Willie Beeman, you know what I'm saying? A dash of Willie Beeman to get it done, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, but we excited, man. Steaming, steaming, like steaming Willie Beeman. And, I, and I talked, to, I talked to, to, to Jerry Jones. I said, how's everything? Well, uh, we feel that uh, the Cowboys are, are, uh, are looking good this year. Dak is doing fine. We're going to go ahead and make a run at it this year, Jamie. So heard it from the man himself. What's your, what's your favorite Jerry Jones story? I know you've been around him a bunch, but do you have one that stands out? It's not necessarily just stories. It's just being able to interact with, with probably the most influential person, you know, in football. You know, sometimes he's like, you know, he's actually bigger than the game. So it's just, you know, watching him, people, people see, you know, the, uh, the entrepreneur, the owner, but to see that he actually cares about what's going to happen with the game. He actually cares about this team. You know, so it's like uh, to be able to sit in those moments where things didn't go so well and hear how he plans on, you know, trying to make the team better. And sometimes, you know, like I talked to Stephen A. Smith and Stephen, when I see you, get ready. I'm, I'm taking you out, too, because, you know, he's always yeah. talking trash. Yeah. Yeah. First yeah. of all, be clear, the Cowboys ain't this, ain't that. I thought the Cowboys. When I see him, I'm snatching yeah. that Cowboy off your, off your head because I know it's attached to that forehead. <laughs> First of all, be clear, Jerry Jones. I'm not afraid of Jerry Jones. I don't care what he thinks about what I think. I said, I'm seeing you. When I see you out, Stephen A., it's about to be battles. It's tough living in L.A. when you're a Cowboy fan. It's tough living anywhere when you're a Cowboy fan mm, because right. a lot of, am I right? Because right. a lot of times people, people, people say our name wrong. They say Dallas Cowboys. I said, no, America's team. Mm. So, so when you say that, right. it's America's team. That'd America's right. team, Dallas Cowboys.